Hi, this video is meant to demonstrate how you can add mail tips to your email addresses within Office 365. Mail tips are automated notifications, very similar to the auto reply that we configured in Outlook. The only advantage is that they do not wait for an email to be sent in order for them to be triggered. Mail tips are actually triggered the very moment you type the recipient's email address within your email. All right, so let's go ahead and look at how we can configure a mail tip. So you would notice that within my Microsoft Admin Center, I have quite a number of users that I have over here, but I just wanted to use a few for a test for this particular video. So um, if you would go to, I think the users area, you can always go to the active areas and you can search the user that you actually want to locate. So these are my users currently, and I simply want to create a mail tip to this particular uh, email address, okay, which is mobile motor. Right, so I'm going to quickly go to the Exchange tab. Click on Exchange. This is going to take me to the mailboxes area. In the Exchange section, I will quickly go and click on Recipients. Okay, from Recipients, I'm targeting for the mailboxes area. And notice that here, you would simply have a list of users and their email addresses. You can still use the search area to simply search the user. If you happen to find out that the user you're looking for isn't listed in this very first section. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what we need to do here. I'm just going to go and select my motto. And once we have that selected, that particular email selected, we'll go for the mail tip area. So click on mail tip. And in here is this box that you can actually type your text. Uh, you have to remember that the mail tip text is a maximum uh, character of 175, so it can go beyond that. So whatever the notification really is. So in this case, just want to quickly have something like that. Okay, I'll be back in the office on Monday, contact this email address for emergencies and so on. If you're happy with this, you go ahead and click on the save button. All right, so I must have actually shown you earlier what would really happen, but let's hope this is gonna work. But if we had not yet configured a mail tip to this particular email address and in any normal circumstances, if you open in Microsoft Outlook, if you'd go and type that particular recipient and click on that particular recipient, you'd notice that it doesn't actually give you a notification. Like I said earlier, a mail tip would actually give you a notification the very moment, the very moment you type the recipient's email address. It doesn't have to wait for an email to be sent for it to be triggered. So I'm just gonna give it another try. What I will do now, I'll just close that, discard that, and open a brand new email. So there we go. Right, so if you go now and type a recipient's name, so our motto, and click on OK, there we go. Boom, it just shows up, okay? I'll be back in the office on Monday, blah, 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 when that person emergency and so on. And this becomes so handy, this becomes so helpful and you can simply make that decision. Do you really wanna go ahead and send that email out or do you want now, since you know what is taking place, whether you want to contact somebody else, or do you make a call, then you can make such kind of decisions. And this is what I like about the uh, mail tip. It doesn't have to wait until an email is sent out and then it gets like the automatic response that gets triggered whenever an email is sent. This happens just the moment you actually type it. It's, it's, it's really amazing. It's great. It's great. So this is something that you may love to use as you're working in Outlook. And if you back in office and you want to get rid of this, you would simply go to your uh, recipients, go to that particular recipient with the mail tip, and from the mail tip section, you would go and simply take that off. You, you, you don't have to mind the HTML characters. These are simply brought in the very moment you type your message in the very first place. Thank you and see you next time.